Good morning, everybody. I hope that everything is going very favorably. Your Yomtev is going very happy, getting nachas, and you're not working too hard. Of course, now that it's Yomtev itself, I guess uh, all the work is over, and I will sit back and enjoy. Um, here we're coming up to the seventh day of Pesach. We're celebrating the splitting of the Red Sea. The Jews had the great miracle. They finally got rid of their enemies. They went through the Red Sea on dry land, and their enemies, the Egyptians, were drowned by the water which came sweeping down upon them. It was such a great experience. The Jewish people went up to a very high level of Kedusha, of holiness, spirituality, getting so close to Hashem. And there's a joy of singing the Shira to Hashem, the great song of Az Yashir, the whole nation of Israel, the men, women, children, all sang to Hashem. What does the Torah say right afterwards? Right after the splitting of the Red Sea, of this great miracle, of this great elevation of the Jewish people, it says they went in the desert and they didn't have any water to drink. And there's no water. And people started getting nervous and complaining, how are we supposed to live without water? Why does Hashem do this to them? After such a great miracle of splitting of the Red Sea, God keeps them away from water. And for here we see a great idea involved here, which is, has to do with all of us during our lifetime, very often. We have to realize that Hashem gives us challenges for us to grow. He doesn't give us challenges for us to be unhappy and to suffer. He wants us to grow from the challenges. Here they came to such a high elevation of closeness to Hashem. Hashem said, he came so high, he wants to go even higher. I want to give you a challenge, which is a very difficult one, and you'll stand up to the challenge, and you'll believe in Hashem, you'll pray to Him, I'll take away your water, and then you'll say to Hashem, you're the one who gives everybody their needs, what to eat, what to eat, what, what, to, eat, what to drink. Please give us water. We know that it's in your hand to do so. The Jews would go to a higher elevation. The bigger the challenge, the greater the person can grow. And that's what Hashem had in mind. You came to such a great plateau, a, a level of greatness through the splitting of the Red Sea. I want you to grow even more. I'll give you a challenge which will be very difficult, very difficult to overcome without giving water. And that's what the th whole thing was all about. God gives us challenges from the love of the Jewish people, not because he wants to give us a hard time. He wants us to grow in this world. This is a world of growing, of challenges. That's why we have to take this lesson our whole lifetime. Many times we are challenged with difficulties, whether it's a lack of um, a, a, a financial uh, uh, backing that we need for to, to live. Sometimes people are sick, people not feeling good. Sometimes we have problems in the Shalom Bayis with uh, 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 peace in the house. All kinds of challenges. We have to realize that Hashem is doing this. Hashem, why are you doing that, Hashem? Why are you doing this to me? The answer is Hashem wants us to grow. He gives, give us challenges. We should overcome the challenge, show our love to Hashem. We know that you're doing it. It's not happening by itself. And we have to take it as a great opportunity. Every challenge is an opportunity for us to grow and become greater people it's closer to Hashem and prepare us for the world to come, which is the ultimate good. Have a good jump to everybody, a very good a very good holiday of splitting of the Red Sea. And let us take this lesson with us for the whole year to look at challenges as opportunities. Good jump to everybody.